Hello friends, this is Scott and Mr. Lincoln back at my home office and uh, just been outside doing some gardening chores and filming some videos so I'm a little bit ahead on my videos. Due to football season and, and being busy uh, with gardening I've been getting a little behind. I haven't had as many videos out. Try to get one or two a week but uh, as, as the season's winding down there's lots of topics to talk, talk about so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed up my video production and football season's winding down and uh, so I'm going to get back to talking about all different types of things. Today's topic is on winter squash, and as a kid, we never grew winter squash. It was something that was foreign to me. I never thought I'd like it, but as, as I get older, I'm really appreciating the winter squash. Um, they're so different in texture and in taste, um, and it's just they're just good. I, would, I, do, I cook them all the same way as I bake them at 400 degrees, and I just you know, stuff them with butter, cut them in half, scoop the seeds, stuff them with butter, and just bake them for an hour, hour and a half, the bigger squash for longer. And uh, they're tasty, and they're all a little bit different. Again, their, their textures are different, their taste is different. Uh, they remind me of different types of vegetables. So, so I'm going to jump into this video, and let's talk about winter squash, because we had a pretty good harvest this year. The first type of squash that produced in the garden was the delicata squash. And this is kind of a, you know, just a standard uh, squash shape, like a zucchini, only it's ribbed, and it's mostly yellow in, in, uh, in flesh. It, you know, it's kind of showing you from early development in these pictures. Some of them come out a little bit, you know, crinkly and crackly. But they're really an interesting, interesting squash. They do produce small fruit. But again, I cut these fruit open. And I just scoop out the seeds. And these don't take as long to cook. They probably take 20 to 30 minutes. Again, at 400 degrees. I just smother them in, in butter and, and a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of pepper. And they produce quite a few. So I think we probably had 10, maybe 12 delicata squash this year. And the texture and the taste are really like, they remind me the most of yucca. Uh, with the butter, it's a little bit moister, yucca tasting, but it is a, it's a little bit of that kind of flesh, that kind of texture and taste. Uh, very delicious. The next type of squash that I grew and it produced was the buttercup. And this is a very sprawling variety. Uh, it took over quite a bit of the yard. Um, beautiful kind of greenish fruit, blocky fruit. Uh, I planted it near my bamboo, and as you see in here, the it kind of climbed up inside the bamboo, used it as a trellis. As you can see here, there's a couple, there's a fruit hanging there. And there's another one, I believe, I'll show you here in a second. But they're just a cute, blocky fruit. Uh, and uh, never tried them before, and I found them to be delicious. Uh, these are the dessert fruit of the squash family. They're very sweet. Uh, the texture is more like a dessert texture, kind of a thicker, but uh, they are very, very, very good, and I really enjoyed them. But they're, you know, they're probably a pound, pound and a half. They start out as these little cute little caps with these big old uh, flower heads on them, and then they just produce, and they start growing, and they turn light green, and then they turn darker green, and Sometimes they have a little bit of a, of a weird bottom on them. Not all of them had it, but I'll show you here in a minute. There's some that, uh, that kind of had a little bit of a different kind of a, uh, an open bottom, like here you go. They're just kind of like another squash is trying to push out of them. They all didn't have that. It uh, didn't affect the taste. Maybe there's a little bit of a hybridization with another squash. Don't know. The next squash I grew was a spaghetti squash, and here's a look at the three different types up to this point. Uh, they start out, you know, they're kind of a mid-season crop to the end of the season crop. Uh, they grow fairly rapidly, not, not super, but these were heavy fruit. These were five to six pound fruit that I grew this year. There's only three, three and a half. There was one small one at the end of the season. I can only grow one plant per variety because my yard is so small that I just don't have the space and I don't, you know, I'm probably planting other squash. But this is a, they're just a monster squash here. I mean, these two big ones really grew nicely. I thought the one on the left was big. The one on the right turned out to be uh, even bigger. They were both five to six pounds. And we just uh, cut one open, ate half, and half gave us two whole meals. We still have another whole half, uh, so we've got another couple of meals uh, left in the, in the spaghetti squash. The flesh is stringy. That's why they call it spaghetti squash. But it, it was originally my favorite squash. I think with the... Uh, the delicata, I'm kind of in a, in a, in a toss-up on those two, but I do love also the buttercup because of the sweetness. It's a, they're different, different textures, different tastes. But you just scoop them out, 
I just load them with butter, put them in foil, and again, this is after I flaked it off, you can see the flesh, and a little salt and pepper, and this one took an hour and a half to bake at 400, and uh, it was tasty. Last of the varieties of winter squash I grew was the banana squash, and this was the latest season crop. It didn't seem to do much of anything. The plant grew, but until the end of August, it didn't even produce any fruit. It had some flowers, but they just kind of sat there. But these things grew from, from the end of August to you know, October 9th. When I picked them, they just took off. And every day I'd go out there and it was like, wow, these things really grow. And they just keep on putting on, putting on. They're light yellow and then they start turning orange. And they get to the end and uh, they turn this really nice orange flesh. Now these were big squash. I mean, I've never grown squash this big. And they were, uh, you know, the, one, the biggest one was 11 pounds. The other one is nine pounds. So 20 pounds of squash and two fruit. Again, they take up a lot of space, uh, so you gotta have a, a good sized garden or a garden space. But here's what I picked the last day of my uh, winter squash harvest. Uh, a couple buttercups, one small spaghetti, and two monster banana squash. Hope you enjoyed this video today on winter squash. And if you'd like to continue to follow me on my journey in living my best rural life in the city, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment. It is, I'd love to hear from you. Winter squash is a great thing. I've really become as older I get, maybe it's just old age, but I've really enjoyed these. And, and they do store, that's why they call them winter squash. You can keep them uh, for months and months and enjoy them. And uh, these won't last very long. I need to plant more and more, and they're, some are gonna go to the Project Garden next year.